Hi and welcome to today's Wellness Wednesday video. Um, the flower essence that came up today is the flower essence of Sanctuary and it came up under the area of codependency. Um, such an interesting area. Uh, Sanctuary talks about people pleasing and the codependency that comes with people pleasing. So I think this may hit home for a lot of people or maybe helpful at least for a lot of people. Um, when we are people pleasing, when we are serving others out of our inability to say no, our inability to set boundaries, we are depleting our true self. We are lying to ourselves um, and we are robbing them of the opportunity to follow their path. Uh, so it's really not beneficial for anyone. Um, but we learn in our society that we need to be the good girl. Um, we need to take care of others. We need to, um, sacrifice ourselves really be self-sacrificing for others. And that's the nice thing to do or the right thing to do. And the thing is, is when we do this, so many different things happen on so many different levels, but energetically we're doing it and not out of love, not out of um, joy, not out of wanting to serve, but out of a need for usually validation. Um, and that usually stems from the low self-esteem or the feelings of not good enough or not worthy in other areas or overall a core wound of that. So we run around trying to please people to go, look, I am a good person. Look, I am a good person. But the thing is, is we end up killing ourselves lots of times or we do it um, we exhaust ourselves so much that we deplete ourselves and it, like it says here and it says it so well, um, it's unhealthy and it's unbalanced, which weakens and depletes the true self. And why it weakens and depletes the true self is because you're not listening to your true guidance. You are going against it and you're doing something based on an ego need for validation, for feeling um, loved, which as I've talked about many times that, f um, feeling loved needs to come from inside, not from outside. So even if you are getting that validation, it never seems like enough, which keeps the cycle going. So you run around, um, saying yes to everyone, depleting yourself, exhausting yourself, which usually ends up in a cycle of self abuse of, um, yeah, just beating yourself up, judging yourself. I should have done more. Why couldn't I do this? Uh, why did I do that? I didn't really want to do that. And then that leads to um, feeling further and further disconnected from our truth. And so if you think your people pleasing is helping, it's not. Um, it's not helping you. It's not helping the other person. Because um, like I said at the beginning of the video, when we run around and do things for others or we don't say no or we are a constant fixer helper um we don't allow people to grow in their own way so you know if someone knows that every time they get into a bind they just need to call you and yep you're going to be there you're going to fix it all uh they never learn to fix things themselves they never learn to thus the codependency um, they never learn to kind of find another way or to make things work or that maybe they shouldn't be making things work. So you're robbing them of an opportunity and you're robbing yourself of an opportunity. So this essence, sanctuary, helps us to build that strength to say no and to be able to serve others, but not from a place of not being able to say no or needing validation but from a place of strength, from a place of um, wanting to, from a place of when you are depleted or when you're tired or when the answer is no, you can say no. But when you have that energy and you have that will and you want to, then you say yes. And so it's not about not doing things for others. It's about knowing what your answer is, what your true answer is. If you don't want to do it, say no. If you do and you want to be of service, then it's done 
full heartedly and open heartedly and not with any expectation of anything. Um, and there's a big difference between that. So for all of you people pleasers out there, there's your people pleasing lesson 101 um, and a codependency lesson. And if you are ready to let go of those ways, if you are ready to um, step into more strength so that you can serve others from a strong will rather than from feeling that need to, then this is the essence for you. So to bring sanctuary in, just take a deep breath, breathe all the way into your feet, and repeat after me. I ask for the flower essence of sanctuary to enter my energy field, energy body, and physical consciousness with the help of the divine. I ask for the flower essence of sanctuary to assist me with releasing my need to say yes and providing me with the strength to say no. I ask for the flower essence of sanctuary to manifest, to integrate. And then when you feel that energy, just put your hands on your temples or wherever you're feeling it and say, and stabilize. And then feel that energy come in. So again, hopefully you're hearing me because I know a lot of people, a lot of people suffer from being people pleasers. And, and it does. It takes your, its toll on you. And it's not healthy. So hopefully this finds you. And um, if you are strong into people pleasing and this is triggering you, then bring it in a couple times. Listen to your intuition. It'll know. And as always, if you're interested in a personalized healing session... Uh, you can DM me or reach out. Uh, I offer sessions for up to 90 minutes and the essences that come up are very specific to your healing journey. So much love, take care and say no. <laughs>